princessing, correct guys? Remember princessing? This time I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do two drapings of the bodice. And you can choose whichever you want to drape. You can drape a French start or you can drape a bust start. Whichever makes you happy, okay? <laughs> Just because I know it's gonna look, oh, thank you for perfect everything. <laughs> Just because I do know it's gonna look tante, I see a lot of you still struggling on how to shift uh, excess and balancing. It does, it comes naturally after a bit. Um, okay, this is gonna be a long demo, guys, so yeah, you ready? Yes, because I feel like that way you have more time around. So same thing here. Now, if anyone missed last week, we basically, what we're gonna do, we draw a line about, was it 10 inches? 11. Yeah, yeah 10 inches from the top edge, right? In center front. And we're just gonna pin it lightly, making sure it matches our apex and it's straight. You spin it lightly. You're not burying your pins into the dress form because you're gonna be taking it out. So, yeah. Okay. Actually, wait. And I'm glad I'm, I'm actually, right now I'm doing a size 14. Now, this size 14 you're gonna notice was there gonna be a difference between this one and this one on the X's. That's what I'm doing the demo. Same thing here, we are not dragging this down. We need space between the bust. We're gonna take it and we're gonna pick it up a little bit and you notice how much it creates that space in between the apex. So after that, make sure your center front is pinned and you're not shifting. Now, I understand that everyone struggles with, oh, actually, this might be a little short. So, that was on me. We need to change the line of the apex. So, as you notice, so our muslin needs to be able to go all the way out with seam allowance. If that's the case, you find yourself, you, have, you don't have enough, drop the apex line before you do it. Or maybe I did it wrong. Did I do it wrong? I think I might have done it wrong, but oh well. So, thank you. So, we're gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna do this again. Now, yeah, now we have space. Now we have actually enough to drape it. So, here lightly just so it help us same thing like before we're just gonna not gonna make sure that this is past that Okay, so this is where we get, it's a little tricky. We're gonna cut a little bit of a circle on top so we can drape the neck first. We always start from the neck because it controls everything. Now, if you are notice, when you wear a shirt sometimes and you're like always fixing the shoulders because the neck is not doing anything, that's why. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna squash. And we're gonna slash. You see how much that's fuckering? We're gonna slash even more. We're trying to make this look really smooth. We are now passing our tape. It's the same thing. We're not passing the tape. You see how much is still tugging? We're trying to make that even more smooth. So we're gonna go even closer. That's better. That's a lot smoother. Remember, as long as we cut and we give ourselves at least half an inch seam allowance, we're good. Okay. And now we just pin in the back lightly. 
Now, before I do this, I need to make sure this line is straight. Why? Because if this is not straight, then I don't know what I'm picking. This shows us where our line is at the body. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna make sure this is straight and it goes all the way to the side seam. And sometimes you have to step out to make sure it is straight. And ta -da. And we're just gonna like, we're not pulling on this really hard. We're trying not to move these pins. Once we move these pins, it's not gonna fit the same way. This is not getting compromised, okay? Now, everyone is asking like, but professor, which one are we gonna do today? What we're gonna do in this one is gonna do the bath start. Okay, how do we do the bath start? If our armhole has so much, right? Now, before I proceed, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna slash into the armhole. And you're gonna notice something. We're gonna pin it and we're gonna try to make it smooth. And we're gonna put all the excess down. All the excess is down, okay? Just don't go beyond that line. It's a little different. You notice that all the excess now is concentrated here? Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. We're gonna do a bust start. This line might shift. This. And this is where it gets streaky. You notice how much excess that was, guys? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this line to help us guide us and just pick up the excess. Do you guys notice that? I'll do it again. I move, you see how much excess I was rotating, right? You notice how flat this is? Okay. We're gonna pick this pin that helps us position and we're gonna transfer the excess. Hold on, let me show you. Less stuff, cream. Gonna take it out. We're not moving it so much. We're gonna take our other hand and we take the excess and ta-da, a bus start. It looks very light. This will be basically, this line will, is basically the middle of the dart. Now you understand it's gonna be the middle of a dart. That's what it is. Now it looks like it's down and that's fine. For now, so for the most part, this should be two inches for your armhole. The dart, your bust dart, this might change, but try to make this from here, from here to here, the bust dart should be from the armhole, should be about two inches. Maybe an inch and a quarter, I mean, inch and a half, depending on the size that you have, but it cannot be on the armhole. The, the bust dart does not go here, it needs to be straight. You notice how straight that is? It's not going up, it's not going down. Okay. Now, we have to worry about this excess. And I'm like, wait a second, we can actually make this even bigger. Yes, we can. So we're just gonna pin it, make our grains try to be straight. And we're just gonna take it Taking better shape, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take this start. So this is one of the few times we're gonna be slashing into the waist because it's not helping our shape right now. Make sure you pin it. Same thing here, there's a lot of X's here. And this is not letting us straight fit. Same thing. We're gonna slash it into the waist. Slash. Just to have some ease. 
Ta-da. That way it looks better, right? So now we're gonna look for the princess start. I mean, for the princess seam. And then we're gonna make this here out. Maybe I took too much. Sometimes it looks a little weird. Maybe I took too much, guys. So we just gonna yeah so like just look back and see if it's balanced or not it should look balanced this might look better if i would ah there you go that's much 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 better now yeah and we can slash even more I know it's a lot of like checking the excess, but you notice it put, took too much. You will notice now that if you take too much, this looks like nothing. It needs to look about the same pickup. You need to distribute it between these two, right? Meaning, you also this is also when you look at your grain. You notice that my grain is going up and down here, and it's not skewing to the side. That's another thing too. So when you're picking this up and rotating, that's what you're looking for. You're trying to get an idea of like where the excess is going. Remember, everything's about balance and draping. And then I can always try to like make this even smoother. But basically, this is it. This is how you do your bust start with a print uh, with a princess start. You cannot. It's really hard to do only a bust start fitted bodice. You, something's gotta give. It's like pattern making. You know, when you rotate axis, then another section opens up. Correct. Same thing here. So we need to put a dart here in order for it to be fitted. If we didn't want it to be fitted, that's fine. We can let this loose. But for this class, I need a fitted bodice. And then what I'm gonna do is just like, you're gonna mark it, Angel, right? And then we'll go from there. Now, this is the other option. We're doing two demos today. The back, by the way, stays the same as our last lesson. Nothing changes. We're, we're fine. Like the, the, back, the back is your friend today. Um, we're not, it's an easy one it's just too fast <laughs> so with this one same thing we're gonna do this again but we're gonna do a french dart what's a french dart does anyone know what's a french dart no so a french dart basically means it goes here meaning all the excess is gonna go to one place and it's right here, okay? And you guys can choose whichever you wanna do. I mean, if I were you, I will just choose a, I don't know, I like bus starts. They're a little easier to control, right? So we'll see. Same thing here. We're squaring it again. Okay, perfect. Same thing here. I'm gonna do this. It doesn't change. This idea of how to put the muslin on top of the dress form does not change. It's basically you line up your center front. Again, you line up your apex line again. 
you make sure that everything's pinned your apex does not it's not necessarily crashing so you just pick it up and you can always you see that by picking it up from the bottom and just bring it up that creates more space Oh, same thing and this should help everyone who's not sure about how to do the neckline same thing I start with a little half circle then slash into the neckline and I you can also pull it a little bit that's the fastest way to do it and then right now still not straight enough and this is when you go back and you pull you're not pulling so much that you're moving your pins you're just pulling to make it smooth Okay. And that was a lot faster than the first time, right? So this is how it should like be much faster for you guys too. And then you can just straighten it out. And before you know it, neckline. So what I did was slash and pull back. Slash and pull back. Slash and pull back. To the point that it's like I'm not even stopping as much. That will be the fastest way. And you can try this technique to see if you if you get it or not, or you need some help. Okay. Now, my shoulder is fine. I say this because we're not gonna do that much with my shoulder. But see where this is falling. You see all of this is falling, right? Make sure to pin your apex. And you're gonna notice it's one of the fastest ones too. You're gonna, there's so much here, there's so much pulling. And you can see it by the puckering. So what we're gonna do, we know that our dart needs to be here. Every, it's a French dart. So French dart is really long and it comes from the side seam usually. Okay, it doesn't come from the waist, it comes from the side seam. So everything's basically gonna be like this. One, one big dart. You notice everything's already smooth by, by me doing that. We're just making it a little simpler. So we're gonna just pin it. Yes, our line is gonna go down. Yeah, this time our line is gonna go down for sure because we're not, we're changing the grain we're making it basically a bias at the side seam, okay? By make sure your apex is correctly put. Because if this apex is up, then the beginning of your dart is not gonna look cute. It's gonna look really bad. Because at the end of the day, draping is all about controlling where it hits. If this is no longer my point of measure, my apex is. If my apex is not gonna be able to help me, that my center front is. Something needs to be referred back, no matter what. Okay, so, same thing here. This one's a little different. We're just gonna go, and we're just gonna pin a little bit until we can't pin no more. You notice how much is fighting me? Same thing, we're gonna slash, and I'm just gonna stake it and pull a little bit at the same time. So much excess. I think we can slash more. Okay. To the bottom of the waistband or wherever your waist is going, that's where it's, ta-da, that's what's happening. And that's why I also pin the bust, the apex. This way it doesn't move anywhere. Well, something's off here. I try to not make this I've noticed that my center front is shifting a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you go. Do you guys notice that already? Look. It's kind of straight. It's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> right? It's pretty fitted. You're gonna take it and you're gonna put a pin on your waist. You're gonna make sure all your points are done. 
This is basically draped. The neckline is draped. Same thing, we have move all that excess to the side seam. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it and about an inch or so from your from your waist, you're gonna try to see where the dart goes. Okay. And we're gonna take our hand because this is pretty straight, you notice? And it's a dart. <laughs> That's it. That's basically it. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. This one could be a lot simpler. It's just a matter of you getting used to now. This was a lot quicker. Do you guys notice that? It wasn't slash and see, no. You just slash and smooth, slash and smooth. Same thing with this, this was a lot quicker. We slash and smooth, we slash and smooth, we slash and smooth. And that's what you should be getting at. Try to do that today. Because believe it or not, this didn't take me that long. This took me like five or six minutes, I think. And then we mark it. And you can, we can leave it here and I'm gonna show you how to trim it. And we're going to the back. The back is really simple. <laughs> the back is the same back as the last week's. We're not changing much. There's no bust dart. The princess dart and the shoulder dart stayed the same. That's it. Okay? All right.